Hello everybody and welcome back to Sorty Quest here. We are on part three of our initial first listen on Sorty Quest and I like what I hear. It is so good. I am enjoying the cute sounds. I'm enjoying the sound effects that let you know that you found something. Sound effects that let you know that you're fighting something. You're like, what? Fighting something? There's no fighting in Sorty Quest. Yes, there is. And I personally, I have to tell you this, I was experimenting with Sorty Quest prior to recording this video. And uh, it was, I think it was either yesterday or today. And I got totally beat up. And we're going to talk about what that is later on in the video. But we're going to learn today how to utilize the hunt system how to tell what to do during hunting. And yes, there are some um, parts of it that are not that accessible. We're going to talk about how the developer's working really rapidly to fix those. I'm going to be um, explaining to you how to be able to tell how much health you have by teaching you how the progression bars work. I'm also going to teach you how to sneak up on monsters that you find out when you're hunting. We're also going to go over how to use clans. We're going to talk about a little bit about the game center. We're going to cover a few of the other elements like crafting some of the different items. We'll talk about winning and losing battles. So we are going to have a lot of tutorial information that I'm going to be talking about the accessible parts of it. And I'll also be talking about the non-accessible parts that we can do workarounds for. As always, you know, if there's something that's not accessible, like a little bit of a problem, but it's something that we can work with, that if we have a little bit of patience and we work with a developer, I do not consider that inaccessible. It's only inaccessible if we can't hear anything, we can't do anything, we can't interact with anything, and there's no functionality, and there's no voiceover compatibility. That's not accessible for blind Americans. However, Sorty Quest is accessible. It has tons of voiceover compatibility. So let's get right into it. And if this is your first time in the channel, please like, subscribe, drop me a comment if you have a question or you have a wonderful bit of advice. I've recently talked to the developer and they are incredibly resourceful, hardworking, and they are working really hard to improve the accessibility of Sorty Quest. We're going to have a nice juicy episode today, uh, at least an hour, I think. Have I set my timer? Yeah, it's running. Okay, my timer is running. We had a nice juicy one hour long episode today. Just going to get really deep into it because I've got a lot of things to cover today. I'll have a little music in the background courtesy of YouTube Creator Studios. So nothing to worry about. No copyright issues to worry about. So I hope you're enjoying that. I'm going to try to work a little bit more on my music, crafting it a little bit more to the scenes that I'm playing. But that's going to take a little bit more time. Like I said, I'm just enjoying that we have music. Makes me want to go back and listen to my videos and enjoy them. And don't be shy about sharing my content with anybody you think might like it. That is totally cool and I will definitely appreciate it. If you're watching my videos, watching the whole video really does a great deal of work and helps me out, helps contribute. I don't get um, much of anything from YouTube monetarily. So watching the entire video, commercials, things like that really helps me out. Liking, subscribing, all those kind of things really help give a little bit. If it helps pay for a couple little things I need, like microphones, headphones, things like that, tripods, things I need for doing my videos, transportation, places I go to do some filming for some of my other parts of my YouTube channel, like especially when I do travel and things like that. Um, helping out do those things gets us the things we need. Uh, music licensing, um, license uh, paying for some of the services that I have so I can do YouTube um, getting a, a setup where we can be proud of what we're doing here in the channel being able to pay for mostly things like music and video equipment are the most expensive parts of YouTube 
trying to get good high quality microphones headphones and equipment those are quite expensive and uh, i can't really afford those things on my own on my own uh, limited um, income but your help for watching the videos and things like that the little trickle that comes in from um, what youtube gives me after they're taking their uh, share does help a little bit so and eventually i'll be doing things like setting up um super chats and things like that possibly uh patreon possibly other membership services i'll be setting up and we'll be talking about that in the future and uh yeah i need to get working on that as soon as possible all right so on to sorty quest all right so last time um i did a lot of work gathering resources and i have unlocked a new action which is called hunt now a lot of these controls are going to switch around once the developer starts streamlining the interface and the developer has already begun streamlining the interface um so things are going to be changing rapidly i gotta throw that out to you first so be ready things are going to rapidly change i'm going to try to drop post from the developers constant updates there is a current update that's going to be going in in the next few days i've got the heads up and if you want to be up with me on the heads up definitely follow me on twitter at mike gray ndg michael gray at mike gray ndg facebook at michael gray or on you can catch my links and cute pictures and stuff on my instagram at mike ndg um, i'm also on discord as uh as michael gray uh, i think it's 9859 uh, i need to really get that straight <laughs> check out my description i've got the exact number there uh i am on twitch at dm underscore mike underscore gaming uh, and uh, definitely check out, check out Dork Tales. I am a Patreon, um, the number one Patreon of Dork Tales. It is a accessible to the visually impaired D&D show. They describe things. They really go through a lot to make sure that you are getting the most out of your D&D experience. You can find the link in my description. Um, what else is there? That's about it, folks. So pretty much covered everything uh and yes sweetie bell is going to be uploading some videos pretty soon she's going to be working on her introductory video a little bit longer so if those of you who are wondering when her intro video will come out uh we're still a few weeks a couple weeks away from that i don't know exactly when that's going to come up stay tuned to her channel but what you can really do right now if you really want to be supportive and loving go ahead and subscribe to her channel it will be placed in my description soon i just got to get around to dropping that link in there um, I've also dropped her link in some videos solo, so you can check out a couple of my videos. You'll find her Facebook page and her YouTube channel. I'm going to post her YouTube channel and her Facebook page in my community section, so you can easily find her anytime you want to. And her channel was called Life with Sweetie Belle. That is L-I-F-E, second word, with, W-I-T-H, third word, Sweetie Belle, S W. E E T Y B E L L E Life with Sweetie Bell. And her Facebook page is again Life with Sweetie Bell, spelled the exact same way. So check her out. Definitely come join us, have some fun. She's doing some behind the scene vlogs in a diary, so you can be right with her as she is working on her channel. This is her first time doing a YouTube channel. It is a lot for her to learn and she is very game for it and she is doing an outstanding job doing everything she can. She might even be recording at the same time I'm recording today. So just so you know, you'll hear some background of her talking. Uh, she's doing her own videos of many of you. I actually had a person mention who was at in the background, wonder what was going on. So just so you know, uh, she does record. So we record at the same time. So if you do hear that, don't get rude. Okay, we, we just record. We live in a small place. So our studio is our studio. So we both record at the same time. So you will hear her voice in the background. And I have a noise cancellation as well as she does. So, but you will hear some voice crossover. Uh, if there's something I need to repeat, I'll just repeat it for all of you. All right. All right, so let's go over some of the new things that I've unlocked. Gather. 
Okay, so the, we already know one of the first actions you can do is gather. Um, you can four-finger tap the top of the screen and go down. Now, I'm going to really get into some of the nuances of some of the parts of this that are being cleaned up a little bit. Because there are some moments where the screen interaction is going to need a little bit more extra help. And I've done all the work for you to figure out how to do it. Because there's a couple of things that happen that are going to be really confusing, including how to craft... There's a little confusion about how to craft. I've got that figured out for you already. And there's a little confusion on how to hunt. I'm going to teach you how to do all that. I got you. All right. So let's get that done here. But first, let's talk about the interface that I've opened up. So I've got... Um, gather. Gather. Now to gather, you're just going to double tap. And that's going to bring up your gather menu. Hunt. Hunt. H-U-N-T, like hunt for game. We're going to really get into that today. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. And I'm going to show you how the combat system works. Clans. Clans is a new thing you can do, which goes to your game center. You can invite people from wherever and they can join you. Now, I don't know how to send the invites to that that well. I'm working on it. So I, I'm not going to really advertise this as being the video that I completely understand how the game center works and the clan system works. We're going to work on it. We're going to figure it out. On track. Button. Okay. I have gotten a new thing built, which is tracking. So you can build a tracking system. Now, I haven't found that as a visually impaired person, the tracking system is that useful, but I'd rather learn it than not learn it. So the way it works is when you build the tracker, which is one of the first devices they say you can build, but it doesn't feel like you can build it. And I'm going to explain why, because we're going to go through the crafting menu also on this episode, because we're going to get all this tutorial stuff out of the way so we can play. So um, the tracking system lets you know what you need to build something without going into the inventory system. Now, it's not that useful in the beginning because you do not have that many items to build. However, to craft, excuse me. Uh, I'm still thinking about a building game. You don't have that many items to craft. However, later on, there's going to be hundreds of items literally all there are hundreds of items to craft and build and if you're like me who has bought the completely uh, non-commercial version i'm very proud of myself and i am very happy to get rid of that commercial bar on the bottom so i no longer have commercials at the bottom of the screen which is gorgeous uh yep exactly there's no song um, Sweetie Belle's song, her advertisement song. Yep, there's none down there. So if you don't want that bar in the bottom of the screen, go ahead, drop that $4 and go ahead and buy the full version. It's a one-time purchase. It also unlocks all the game's content. To me, it's a bargain. For the price of a flashy cup of coffee at one of your favorite um, places with one of your favorite baristas that knows exactly what you like to order, you can go ahead and order yourself a nice, hot, steamy cup of no advertisement. So go ahead and do that right now. Go ahead and order that nice cup of coffee of non-advertisement and help this developer continue to make wonderful games. So that's what I've currently done. And let me take a quick sip of coffee. All right. So, okay. All right. So now we've gotten all the preliminaries out of the way. Let's talk about more things you can do. Now let's go to the crafting menu real quick and get that done. Zero one D nine hours okay. fifty nine minutes thirty. Uh, so okay, so there's some other things going on. There's like a timer here. I have yet to figure out what that is, but I will talk to the developer and find out what this timer is. If you know what the timer is, then you know what time it is, right? Let me play pun on pun. Let me play pun on top of pun. <laughs> If you know what time it is, um, go ahead and let me know what that means. Uh, I do believe it has something to do with the timers have something related to your food or your stamina or, and I almost Zero, feel like, hours, 58 minutes, 59. okay, if it, it feels like it's the amount of time we're playing because it's constantly moving. Also, is there a day and night cycle built into this game? If you know the answer to that question, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Um, I will pin comments from any developer who comments on their own game, number one. The second person that I will pin 
if you are able to include, if you're able to include a reasonable amount of information, I'm not looking for, hey, shut up, shut up, energy. I'm not going to pin that. I'm most likely going to like invisibly block you. You'll never know you're blocked, but we'll never see your information. So if you don't want to be invisibly blocked, please don't be rude. Um, however, um, if you do have something important to say that is gentle, kind, and loving, um, and it's at least probably a paragraph long, which is somewhere around, I don't know, it's anywhere from about 500 uh, characters or more, I will probably pin it if it's valuable information. I love pinning comments from people who come to the channel if it has very important information. Also, I look at every single comment you drop. So, Please don't think that I'm not listening. I read every comment. Most of the time when I have my Bluetooth keyboard out, I am typing you a quite substantial answer. And if it isn't something I really feel I need to answer, I just leave it empty. Um, usually I just say thank you. Um, the minimum I usually say is thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for um, the information. Thank you for your comment. I'm I'm a very much a person that appreciates would people take the time to comment on my channel. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for doing that. If you're dropping some outstanding comments, I'm definitely going to get back to you and we'll talk about it. And I, I really want you to know my comment section is important to me. It may be a throwaway section to most YouTubers, but my comment sections are important to me. My relationship with you as my subscribers, listeners, friends, developers is very important important to me. Same thing with my Twitter. If you want to reach me, if you want to DM me, yeah, I get some strange DMs every now and then, but I get some good ones too. Uh, if you want to DM me, I'm on Twitter. You can find me there. It's my personal, you know, it's probably not the smartest thing in the world to have your personal uh, Twitter account as the direct connects to your channel. I'll probably need to one day down the road, create my own channel uh, Twitter account. <laughs> I've always done things backwards to make my own Facebook my own personal channel Facebook uh, I'm learning to be a little bit more incognito because the more people I get I get you know you get the strangest people sometimes you know uh, people can be quite rude and weird and strange and uh, I've had some pretty interesting uh, comments thrown in my direction uh, you'd be surprised um, but um, Anyway, for the most part, we are in the most loving, caring community of all time. The people who are not caring and loving in this community, they do not belong. Therefore, we shall oust them. But for the rest of you, thank you so much for your love, care, concern, kindness. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your advice. Thank you for all the countless amounts of comments you make that really help other people in the visually impaired, blind community be able to play these games. That's the whole point of these games. That The whole point of this channel is for those who are visually impaired and blind to be able to play and have a great time. And also to listen to me rant and rave about a few things and go on vacation once in a while or be goofy. Thank you. And occasionally open up something. So I have a lot of fun with you all. I have so much fun with you all. I love you all very much. I have so much fun on this channel. And it's just getting better because we're about to get deeper and deeper into more games. We are starting to come into a golden age, y'all. We're coming into a golden age, and the golden age is going to be, we're going to have so many games to play in the visually impaired community. We're gonna have so many games to play, and they're gonna be the games we want. Role-playing, adventure, action, survival. Yes. Maybe some Pokemon down the road? Maybe, 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 yeah. Yeah, right? Maybe? Maybe, yeah. Yes, 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 baby. Yeah. Uh, no, I was saying maybe we're going to have some Pokemon style games in the future, maybe, perhaps. Do something cute like that. I've always wanted. Could some developer out there make a monster capture game? Can we make Sorty Quest have a monster capture? Because I'd love to capture some of the monsters I'm beating up here. You're like, monsters? You keep mentioning monsters, but you haven't explained yourself. <sighs> okay, sorry. Okay, I'm going to explain where the monsters are at in this game. Okay, so now we've talked. Let's go into these menus and get into it here. Crap. Let's get the hard work out of the way. Tab. Inventory. Okay. Tab. Uh, we've, we've talked about inventory. Let's briefly, eh, let's just get it over with. Let's go over inventory. Okay, so when you're in inventory, inventory, um, tab. The, the best thing to do in inventory is to start at the top, swipe all the way through. I'll go over it really quick. 
Craft. Tab. Three of five. That's a crafting tab. Let's go to the top. Select an item to interact. Okay. Button. Cl inventory. Now you, your inventory can close. There's a button there. Swipe to the right. Button. That's close. Select an item to interact. That's just giving you information. That's the permanent tutorial. Special. Special is just that. That's a permanent piece of information. It has something to do with your achievements. Golden Gem X50. And I will do this each time they make massive changes. Achievement X4. Okay, that's your achievements. The X just means times. Food. Okay, food is going to be interacted with once you select the food item. And I'll teach you how the progression bars work. Water X36. Okay. I do not yet know what gets you water. So far, it's appeared just for free. I do not know if it comes from going through gathering. I, it has not said. I will get a clarification on that. Berries X805. Okay, as you can hear, I can carry a ton of berries. Berries come from the bushes, but they also sometimes come from the trees. I do not believe they come from the stones or rocks. All right? And please excuse any terminology that is not consistent meat x22 all right i do not know where the meat comes from however i've been getting the meat all right meat can be used when you're hunting in battle we are going to talk about that don't worry it's coming up stories all right stories are when you open up major parts of the game so far i've only unlocked the initial story you can always go through that again it's like your own little like bibliography or encyclopedia or wikipedia for yourself an introduction okay resources all right resources are the items that you gather on the resource map okay that's when you click you click the button gather gather brings you to the resource map on the resource map you swipe left to right and when you land on an item that says tree button rock button shallow button you can then touch the item, double tap it, and hold your finger down. 3D touch. Hold your finger down, but don't release. The screen will begin to vibrate rapidly, and your phone will go... <laughs> but not really like that. That's just me being silly. It will just vibrate, and then you'll eventually hear poop. And that will mean you'll get a certain number of items, anywhere from 1 to 3 to 10 items, will pop up. You occasionally hear a very fun sound that goes like a huge cheer. And that just means you found something good or something rare. I do not know because there is no information about it. Just like you, I'm learning, but I'm also quickly learning. So whenever I find something, I will quickly bring the information to you. And by the way, since I'm talking to the developer, whenever they drop information on me, I will drop information on you. And I expect you to drop information on your friends, families, loved ones, um, different places. And please mention that New Def Gaming is the number one community for visually impaired gaming. We are better than any community for gaming, along with Sweetie Bell as an affiliate. We are we are all about the gaming. There isn't there aren't any truly fully dedicated visually impaired gaming communities on YouTube. They dibble, they dabble, but we're truly, truly this community and all of you who are into gaming with me. We are the true community of visually impaired gaming. So all of you, connect to me, collaborate with me. Let's do this thing together. We're gonna to make this a powerful community. If we work together, if we function together, if we stand together, make our stand here, we will bring developers to us and they will create what we want. And we will be so preoccupied that nothing will matter but games. Wonderful, beautiful, that's what we want, okay? All right, let's keep moving through the menu. Branches X469. Okay, so you get different kind of items. Like branches are one of the first things you're going to gather quite a bit from. Stone X412. Stone is one of the primary resources you're going to gather. Flint X302. Flint comes once you upgrade your pickaxe, your stone axe. Your stone axe can be upgraded. And once you upgrade it, it will collect flint, okay? Wood X370. Now, I think branches become wood, or wood is a higher end resource collected from trees. I'm going to make a qualified opinion and say that the trees either give up wood or they just give up branches. I will verify this. Leather X353. Leather so far is only given to you as a freebie. Whenever you go up in level, 
you are given rewards such as 40 leather, 60 leather, or 120 leather. So um, I do not believe anything can be thrown away either. However, you can use this leather to create and craft certain items. Tree Orc Fangs X1. Okay, I just got my first Tree Orc Fang. Uh, tree Orc, T-R-E-E. O-R-K-F-A-N-G. So, in uh, case my voiceover, I did turn my voiceover down to 60%, but it may be reading quickly. Um, so, if you beat an orc, you'll get a fang, but you do need to loot the fang. So, we're going to talk about that when we get into that part of the video. Weapons. All right. When you get to your inventory weapon section, this is going to be the weapons that you currently own. Wooden Vox 1. As you can hear, I have one wooden bow. A wooden bow allows you to sneak attack enemies. Yes, you can be a rogue. And you get a sneak attack bonus. Now, if I am not 100% certain, I apologize, I'm working on it. I do believe you get a free shot. However, there's one bad thing about this. There's a slight inaccessible thing. And I know that my wonderful developer will work on this. It's really hard to use that rotating like line at the bottom of the screen there is a weird little thing that moves around at the bottom of the screen when you do the hunting and it allows you to double tap a button okay we need to definitely change that to a sound so it can either be like like a radar sonar or compass and that would tell us when we would center on a target pretty much um, the standard was set by several other games who do gem crafting, you use sound effects for people who are visually impaired in order for us to determine when we're going to launch an effect. So if we're gonna double tap on something that has absolutely no sound information, we're never going to know when to double tap. So you're going to have to create a frequency, a sound effect, or a rapidly kind of like created sound. Now you can make it difficult, that's fine. I like hard games. But you're going to have to provide some kind of sound or else we're not going to be able to interact with the hunting menu. And I'll get into that later. I'm just throwing it out there now. Laying the groundwork. Utilities. Okay. Utilities are going to be tools. I think that's probably something that I don't fully understand because I'm wondering why it's not just called tools. But utilities are fine. I'm fine with it. That works. Basic pickaxe X1. Okay, that's my basic pickaxe. That's what you're going to first create. Resource Tracker X1. Resource Tracker is something that you're first going to create early in the game. Resource Tracker is really easy to build. Skinning Tool X1. I also built a skinning tool. A skinning tool allows you to skin monsters. Isn't that freaking cool? So when we hunt monsters, we're going to be able to skin them and we'll get more leather, which means we don't have to wait for leveling up to get leather. And that's fabulous. Tab bar. Actions. Okay. Tab. And Number after five. you get through, you're going to come out at the bottom of the tabs. And that's fine. Remember, though, whenever you come out at the bottom, you are still technically in your inventory if you want to close your inventory go to the top of the screen with four finger tap inventory heading and click the close button button close and now it's closed settings menu button okay when you hear settings menu that is the menu that you're going to first hear let's go through that real quick get that out of the way settings menu. okay in your Sporting settings quest. menu back button you're going to hear a back button settings Heading. And here are some of the settings that you can set. Music. Turn in-game music on you slash off. Turn music on it and off. I'll let you hear it. Selected. Music. Turn in-game music on slash off. Music. Turn in-game music on slash off. Switch button. Off. Off. On. There's music on. Sound effects. Turn sound, in sound effects. effects on slash off. I can turn sound effects on or off. Sound effects. Turn in sound effects on slash off. Okay, Switch right button. there. On. It's currently on. Vibrations. Turn in you game can vibrations turn on vibrations off. on and off. Vibrations. Turn in game vibrations on slash off. On Switch button. slash on. off. Tab bar. Select and that's actions. it. Tab. That's one the entire menu. menu. And I'm going to turn off the music because it is very loud. Vi vi so so music. Turn in game sound effects. M selected. Music. Turn in game music on slash off. Music. Turn in game music on slash off. Switch button. On. Off. And there you go. So the music's very beautiful, hauntingly beautiful. However, there isn't a volume control, unfortunately. I would love to use the music for some parts of the game. Unfortunately, I cannot. It's too loud and it doesn't have a volume control. All right, so let's get out of this. That is the setting menu. Selected. Music. 
Sports, Sport, Sporty Quest, Settings, Heading, Selected, Music, Turn in Game, Setting, Sporty Quest, Back Button, and Boom. Now we are out of the Settings, settings Menu. menu. Alright, as you go down the screen, let's go over the current screen configuration. Sporty Quest, Heading. You're going to get something called Advice. There's a section where you get advice. This could be, this changes. Consider this like a tip section at the very top. I'm gonna to swipe through it. Help button. Then you're gonna get the help. That's gonna give you all the help you need to play the game. Go ahead and go through that and they're gonna to explain to you all the parts of the game. So let's go ahead and click that real quick. Help. Okay. Okay, now you're not going to hear that you've activated anything, but there is a little figure face that drops down because uh, I've moved around on the screen and located it. Wondering where you are? Craft a map to help. Okay, and that's little information you'll get. If you get stuck, please use our community help button below. And there you go. Your community help button will pop up. So you'll get this help menu. Our team regularly monitor the site for questions asked. Okay. And you can ask questions of their, commu of their community and they will get back to you with an answer. Currently located in the throne of Avalon button. All right. And then you go find out you're located in the throne of Avalon. So when you're done with that help menu, close button. go ahead, touch the screen near the top, double tap and hit close close and that little help Gather. person will go away okay you're asking why am i explaining this it because it is important to know um having menus up never go away and they can get in your way of gathering and doing other things my best advice is if there's a menu open if there's a help icon open if there's a little tutorial open close it when you're done hearing the information from it okay all right gather okay Currently located in the throne of Avalon. Okay, but let's wondering go back where you are, up. Craft a map to help. All right, wondering where you are, craft a map to help. Okay, that is something that they're going to say every time you go to the main screen. It's a tool tip. It's a beginner tip. It's just a tip that sits there. You can't get rid of it. Just leave it alone. It will change when there's something more they want to talk to you about. It's simply a way for them to foreshadow things that you'll be doing in the future. Let me take another sip of coffee. Okay, so don't worry about that one. Currently located in the throne of Avalon. Button. You're going to be told to where map. you are currently located. Now, if you have not opened the map, double tapping this will get you an error message. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate what happens if you don't know that you can't go to the map. I'm going to double tap, double tap. Alert, map not unlocked. Map not unlocked. You'll get this error message. I have not currently unlocked the map, but I will unlock the map. But currently I cannot. And if you swipe through it, you'll hear why. Craft more items to unlock. You'll hear what you need to do to unlock the map. Okay, button. Go ahead and click the okay button. And you'll be kicked settings right back menu. out button. to the settings menu. Uh, st start of the screen at the top. Swipe down again. You'll go right back through those items. Sporty help. Wondering where you currently located. Currently reached for achievements. Button. Okay. The other go thing you'll board. get is the currently your achievements you've reached. Now I don't know if I'd leave the achievement information there. I think achievements could probably be shuffled into one of your other menus. I do think it clutters the main menu a little bit. What I'd love to have up here instead of the achievement would be maybe currently what quest i'm on because i really feel like we're missing a quest bar here of course this is not a complaint this is a suggestion and i will offer my suggestions to the correct community tabs so if you do have suggestions you can offer those to the developer the developer is very much a great listener and will definitely hear you out don't be shy about um, offering any kind thoughtful loving warm way those of you who are rude please you're not going to get anywhere that way in life and it doesn't matter if you're blind or not if you're going to be rude to people people are not going to like you so be kind okay all right let's continue to go through here gather Okay, and then you're going to be, the first thing you're going to land on is your gather action kind of use. So if you double tap gather, I'm gonna double tap gather. Hold item below to gather it. 
you're going to hear hold item below to gather it it has you're going to hear that doo -doo 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 sound because your screen changes to your gather map or you can call it your gather your gather grid I call it my gather map because it seems more logical because it is a sort of map. Think about this map, envision in your head, kind of like a bunch of rocks, trees, shallows, anything you can think of. It's in little tiny square icons. Now I haven't counted how many there are, of course you know. I'm I'm Michael. I'm going to count everything. You know, this is New Def Gaming. We find everything. We will count anything to figure out how many are there. Because the one thing we are in the visually impaired community is thorough. We will figure out what's going on. So, this is now what we call your gather map. Now, I'm going to demonstrate the gather because I just want to go through this complete tutorial so we can get into some fun. Cautious. Button. When you hear Bush's button, it means this node in ODE is currently available to be tapped into. If you double tap it, you're going to hear a swish sound. I'm going to be quiet so you can hear it several times. Bushes. 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 So, voiceover will announce Bushes. You'll hear a swish and you'll hear it click the sound of you double tapping. Now, if you want to get into the node and take what it has, you're going to have to hold the button down. Rocks, bushes, button. Okay, here we go. Did you hear that? Doink. Uh, so that means you collected something. And now that bush will be empty, you'll hear this now. Hold item below, bushes. Dimmed button. Bushes dimmed button. Bushes dimmed button. That means that node is empty. Let's go to another one. Rocks button. Now that rock is empty. I'm going to keep doing this to you hear a very special sound. Bushes button. Grass dimmed button. Rocks button. Trees, button. Trees, dim, bushes, button. Bushes, button. Trees, dim, button. Trees, dim, bushes, dim, but trees, button. Trees, dim. Trees, dim, button, bushes, dim, but trees, dim, bushes, button. Trees, dim, button, bushes, dim, but trees, dim, but bushes, dim, but grass, dim, rocks, button. Trees, dim, bushes, dim, button, tree, bushes, dim, grass, dim, rocks, dim, grass, dim, trees. Button. Bushes, dim, button. Bushes, dim, button. Grass, dim, rocks, dim, grass, dim, trees, dim, but bushes, button. Bushes, button. Trees, button. Bushes, dim, but Bushes, dim, button Rocks, dim, button Grass, dim, trees, dim Bushes, dim, bu bushes, button Bushes, dim, but trees, dim Grass, dim, rocks, dim, but grass, dim, button Bushes, dim, button Hold item below to gather it Bushes, dim, rocks Dim, bushes, dim, button, trees, button. Bushes, dim, button, trees, button. B bushes, dim, bushes, bushes, dim, button. Bushes, dim, but trees, dim, bushes, dim, trees, dim, 
bushes, dim, grass, dim, rocks, dim, grass, dim, trees, dim, bushes, dim, bushes, dim, rocks, button, bushes, dim, trees, dim, bushes, dim, bu trees, dim, bushes, dim, grass, dim, rocks, dim, bu grass, dim, trees, dim, bu bushes, dim, bu bushes, dim, bu rocks, dim, button, trees, button, tab bar, selected, and as you can Actions. hear, Tab. I got all the One way through the bottom, so, as you go through the top to the bottom, you'll eventually get to the bottom of the screen and come out in the tabs. But I didn't get that special sound. So sometimes you'll hear a sound that sounds like and that means that you've also found something a little bit rarer than what you usually find. Now currently I can find trees, rocks, grass, which can't be, there's nothing in grass, um, shallows, and bushes so those are the current nodes that I'm able to interact with and of course I did not hear any special sound I just wanted to make sure I was quiet so that you can hear it if it came up bushes. Button. let's find out if I can get clear the whole field now remember you may not clear the field all the way when you go through it okay as you can hear there's a little sound after you find something Let's find out if I can finish clearing this field. Trees, dim, button. When you have cleared the field, okay, there's a little bug. Now, once you've cleared the field, a information icon will pop up. It's a little character face with a close button attached to it. The bad part is it overlays over the gathering map. That's something the developer, I uh, have currently talked to them about it and they will fix it. Don't worry about it, it will be fixed. We will clean up this interface no matter what. However, uh, just be aware that when you have completed your gather map, there is a little face that drops off and says, great job, come back later. And that's something to be very much to pay attention to. Or as you might be gathering forever going, why am I not getting anything? That's because you've already gotten everything on the gather map, okay? Let's make sure that we've gotten everything. To make sure you have everything, go ahead and tap the bottom of the screen. Tab bar, selected, actions, tab. Go ahead and swipe to the left. Trees, button. You hear that? I'm now back into the, I was down, swipe right. Tab bar. Selected. I'm in the Actions. action tab. bar. I'm in the action tab. If I swipe left, trees. Button. I'm now back into the gather map. Tab bar. Selected. Tabs. Actions. Tab. One of five. Trees. Button. Gather map. Okay, let's take that tree down. Bushes. Dim. Button. Bushes. Dim. Button. Trees. Dim. Bushes. Button. Oh, there's another bush. See, we miss. Sometimes you'll miss items. Bushes, button. There's another one. We're getting there. Rocks, button. All right. Now, I happen to have an ability to see a little bit of when something white on black appears on the screen. So there's a face that just popped up. Now, it doesn't have a sound. We're going to work on getting the developer to make that have Rock, a sound. Dim, button. But there is currently the you're done button that just popped up. But there is no sound because this game wasn't originally accessible for the blind. But we're going to get that with a sound. So the developer can put a little sound when that little face pops up. That is something that would be very helpful. And it can be like a little diddling or something. Or it can be like a, <coughs> you know. <laughs> it could be anything whatever you want to put there it could be a little bell it could be a little sound and when that face jumps up you'll know it's there tap near the top of your screen rocks dim button and bushes go all dim. the way up to the top mm. or better yet tap four finger tap gather heading you'll hear it go ahead you'll hear that heading button hold item below to gather it okay great work you completely cleared this area there we go Great work, you have completely cleared this area of rocks. There is something though I wanna mention. I do believe that there is a certain thing they want you to clear on each gather map. I will ask the developers in that, uh, about that when I send my list of questions. And I'll get back to you all about that. 
Once they have told you that you've gathered everything you need to gather, don't worry about the items coming back. The gather menu pops up as much as you want. Resources in this game are incredibly easy to come by and cheap. So gather all you want. So yeah, you can gather all you want. Now, once you've got everything done, go ahead and clear out that little pop-up. Come back to find a new local area to farm. Bushes, dim, but rocks, dim, bushes, grass, dim, rocks, bushes, bu trees, bushes, bushes, trees, clothes, buttons. There you go. Did you notice the little menu piece was right in the middle of the gather field? I only found this because I kept playing this game so much yesterday, I kept saying, where's your clothes button? Where's your clothes button? Well, the clothes button is inside of the gather field for people who are visually impaired. Now, if you were playing this game sighted, you'd see the little pop-up and you'd swipe it away. But we're not, we don't have that luxury. So we're just gonna have to find it when there's a button. When you find a button, touch the button, and let's go ahead and touch the button. Close. Double tap it. The button's gone, Settings and menu. guess what? Button. We've been brought back to our original primary screen. Okay, so now you've learned how the gather map works. You've learned how the inventory works. Let's go into the crafting menu. Touch the bottom of the screen. Currently level nine. Or button. four finger tap. Go to bottom of screen. Go to here, bottom of the screen, and we're gonna go through. Uh, the crap we're gonna go to the crafting menu player health is 112 out of 112 oh okay is 37 there is 100. okay I'm gonna shush it um, you also have a player stat screen uh, we'll talk about that too and how that works currently level 9 player health is 100 stamina food 9 food 0 1 d 9 hours 20 tab bar selected actions inventory tab, craft all right tab, let's go ahead and five. touch the crafting menu. the reason why I'm not spending a lot of time on the players stat screen because it isn't very complicated it just requires a little bit of understanding of some of the terminology but it isn't complicated now the crafting menu can be a bit complicated inventory craft tab Let's three of five go ahead and double tap craft okay now once you're in the crafting menu it's going to go to a separate screen again four finger tap the top of the screen craft heading and you're going to be in the craft heading you'll hear that craft heading Button. And close. now let's go through everything here. Craft button. There's a close button that brings you back to the primary screen. Items you can craft appear below. That's a permanent tooltip that remains there. Items that you craft, you can you can craft appear below. That will always be there. That will definitely give you a landmark to follow to know where you are. Gathering heading. Okay, you'll hear gathering heading. Advanced pickups gathers metal from rocks. Zero. Now, don't get confused when you hear gathering. Now, we should probably have a little bit more information on that gathering, because it might throw you off and make you think, are we gathering again? Do I need to hold my finger in the screen? No. Gathering is a heading in your crafting menu. So your crafting menu, there are things you can use to gather, but you can also create or craft items that are under the gather category so that might throw you off slightly okay i'm going to go through those gathering advanced pickups advanced pick rocks. off Zero. exact excuse me advanced pick pickaxe is a gathering tool that you can create craft button you're going to hear a craft button if you want to craft a particular item the crafting icon appears right after it however that doesn't craft it that simply alerts the system that you would like to craft it. Once you tap that, you'll be asked to confirm. And that's the confusing part. That's the part that threw me off for a long time until I realized there was an overlay. So overlays are always the bane of visually impaired uh, operations using voiceover because overlays get in the way of you activating. We're used to screens being like pretty much binary where we can move from section to section to section. When things are placed overlaid over items, it gets a little harder because we're gonna to have to lift our finger up and locate this new overlaid particular screen element. And that can make it inaccessible. So I'm gonna go over why that happens. Uh, well, it happens because it's developed that way for visual users, but we're gonna make this work for us. All right, so 
once you are going through the crafting menu, you're going to hear many different items that you can craft. You're also going to hear screen images, which you can ignore. They're only for voiceover is just going to call it a screen image. Um, we're going to, we're going to let it, I'm going to let voiceover say it to you so you can hear what it says because I'd rather not guess. I'd like it to tell us exactly what it's going to say. Your voiceover may vary. All right. Then you're going to hear how many of that item. The bad part is that the screen image and the amount that you need to create the item are all in one sentence. The beauty is you can slow it down with your rotor. So we're going to see if we can get the developer to separate these things. I love to have the image on a separate line. I love that the developer A plus has allowed me to be able to use my rotor to slowly listen to the information. However, I'd love to get that screen image information off of my valuable text. 400 slash 35 attachment PNG file wood. Okay. So that's how much wood I have. Confusing, isn't it? Because you heard that whole PNG kind of file name because that's an image and we're not looking at images because we're using voiceover. We don't care about graphics. We don't care about images. We only care about the ability to interact with everything on the screen that requires interaction. We care about headings being available. We care about titles, subjects, subtitles, things that give us information. We care about the text. We care about values, variables, information like that. Integers, graphics are important if they can contain information that gives us information. Everything is valuable if it gives us information, but if it's simply to look pretty, then we don't need that. We'd simply love to have that picture be described. So developers, you can also describe images, but if the image is just a description of a word, for instance, if the image is a hammer and there's already a hammer being spoken by voiceover, we don't need the image of the hammer. However, cited players might want to see pretty pictures, which is fine. And um, not to be condescending to them, those are things that they value. So whereas we in the visual impaired community, we value these things, but practicality means that we have to be able to utilize the tools in a game, utilize the guides, the information first. Secondarily, we can enjoy uh, the sound effects and other things. Finally, we don't mind visuals and beauty and graphics. That's fine with audio description and information that tells us what it is. We're totally fine with images. We just need those things described. Okay, now that we've gotten past that, let's listen for this information in a slower way. Craft button. 400 slash 35 attachment. Let's go ahead and turn our rotor on. Tab bar. Volume. Speaking rate. Words. And we're going to go to each part. Map. Map. More. Tap. More. Tap. Craft. Button. 400 slash 35. 400 slash. Now, did you hear that? I slowed it down to words. You can go to character if that's still too fast. 400 slash. 400 slash. Okay. The first variable is how many you have. This is going to feel counterintuitive, but it is true. The first number is what you have. Then there's a slash. Slash 35. 35 is what is required to build the item. That is the component number you need to fulfill the requirements to make this item. Attachment PNG file. Attachment PNG file. Ignore that. That is simply an image. That's how voiceover will read it. Attachment PNG file. Wood. And then that's what it is, wood. So that image is wood. We can totally love to have a version where we can turn those images off. I do believe with a little bit of work, we can have a settings so that we can turn images off and we wouldn't have to hear that unnecessary information. Okay, so now you know how to slowly hear the information by using your rotor. Your rotor works in this with headings, words, and characters, which is beautiful. Also left and right swipes, obviously. Two finger tap, two finger swipe down, four finger tap, top, middle, bottom, okay? All right, now that we've got that information, let's continue to go through the crafting menu. 
431 slash 45 attachment png file okay stone each one of the items that you need to build in the crafting menu underneath the item are the ingredients required to make the item so you're going to want to listen even though it's a little distracting with the png file attachment attachment png file blah 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 that's a little confusing however just pay attention to the information about what how many items you need okay zero slash 45 attachment png file lake pearls all right did you hear that that's a new item that i currently do not have i do not have any lake pearls now you're going to want to pay attention to different components for your crafting these are going to be the things you need as you can hear i do not have any lake pearls and let's find out why what is it that we're building here 431 400 slash 35 attachments craft button advanced pickups gathers metal okay from box. that's Zero. advanced pickup i think uh i do believe i thought we already crafted the advanced pickaxe maybe not okay so gathering advanced pickups gathers metal from rocks zero oh gathers metal of course we don't have this no i am wrong we do not have the advanced pickaxe we're going to need to get that because we need metal metal is so valuable for me right now so the advanced pickaxe is a crafting um this is considered a gathering uh category craft crafted item so get used to those different categories uh, this is a beautiful game because there is so much potential here i can't imagine how many different i mean are we going to be driving tractors and specialized vehicles are you are we going to be gathering gases and special gems i'm very 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 excited about this game just this just an incredible amount of potential just a lot of fun we've already been i've had so much fun we've already been recording for an hour we're gonna keep going because i did promise you all i did promise you all to go through the hunting menu because I, I i like to keep my promises all right so let's keep going through this craft button 400 slash 35 attachment p 431 slash 45 attachment zero slash 45 attachment track button all right and you heard that final part that's called track so when you create the tracking item from your crafting menu, you can track the cost to create any item by double tapping on track. Now, um, track should have a button. We'll get that fixed. That's not a big deal, folks. Those are easy fixes. Buttons are not a problem. Developers are easily able to add buttons to menu items and screen items. Okay, so we'll put a button on there. So we are missing a button there. Combat heading. All right, this is the combat heading, and this are these are the different items you can craft for combat. I'm gonna quickly swipe through that so we can speed this up. Trap, button, wooden shield. Wooden craft. shield. Four, zero slash fifty, three hundred fifty. Trap, wooden sword. Wooden craft. sword. Four, one, That's zero the slash cost for the, those PNG. are the items Fire. required Metal. to make it. Trap, stone shield. Think and okay, this goes on for a zero. while. I have a lot of items that have unlocked. As you level up, you're going to unlock all kinds of items. And if you are really cool, you'll buy the full version. It unlocks magic items. I'm so excited about that. So I will get into that in a future video. We're gonna be playing this game. This is really fun. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get into that. Now we've gone through this crafting menu. Let's get to what you came here for. Let's talk about hunting. Now let's go ahead and get out of this menu. We'll come through this a little bit more as it becomes more relevant. Craft, heading, button. Let's go back. Okay. All Sounds right. Menu. Button. We've gone back to the primary menu and now we are going to talk about the hunting menu. Hunting opens up at a certain level. I don't recall the exact level, but I think it is level seven or eight. Okay. So once you open up hunting, you're going to find a hunting icon. Let's swipe down and you're going to hear it. Swordy quest, help. Wondering, currently locate, currently reach, gather, hunt. You hear that? Hunt. Go ahead and double tap hunt. Choose where to hunt. Bushes often have the weakest prey. All right. Now, choose where to hunt. Bushes often have the weakest prey. Okay. So, P-R-E-Y. Uh, so, when we're hunting for creatures, you got to be careful because I got beat up by an orc, a tree orc, which is a cute name. Um, so, I don't know why a tree orc beat me up, but he just didn't like me or she didn't like me or they didn't like me. It didn't like me. Just beat me up. Anyway, um, so when you're dealing with this menu, you're going to select 
a particular resource field where you're hunting. There is a monster inside of each one of these resource fields and you're going to select which one. Try the bushes because the orc can hit hard and the orc is a little stronger than you so be careful. All right, let's go ahead and play around first. And I'm gonna show you the part that's not accessible because I want you to know this part right away so you're not frustrated. Bushes. Go ahead and swipe to the right. You'll hear bushes. If you keep swiping, you'll hear other areas. Rocks. Rocks. Trees. Trees. Rocks. Ro Don't confuse these with the gather map. This is the hunting map, okay? And the developer is working rapidly on making these even more blind friendly. All right, so let's go ahead and go bushes. to bushes. You can also direct finger touch areas. Get used to doing that. Sometimes that's very helpful. All right, okay, so for now though, it works completely with left and right swipes. Okay, once we're on bushes, we're gonna double tap. Adventurer. Okay, you're gonna hear the word adventurer. And you're gonna hear what creature is hiding in the bushes. Usually it's just an imp, imp, and that's an imp. And you can spell it out by using your rotor with characters. Now, this is where it gets a little bit challenging. So the imp has to be attacked. Now, in order to attack the imp, there are a couple of non-accessible things kind of going on. I'm gonna go over this entire screen and I'm gonna explain as best I can. All right, so first... Progress, 100%. Imp, adventurer, imp. Adventurer, you can hear... Adventurer. Adventurer. Imp. You're gonna hear the imp. That's the monster. Progress, 100%. You're gonna hear progress, 100%. Progress, 100%. Progress, 100%. Hell, 112 range, 110 defense, 100 stealth, 100. Okay, these are all your... These or either your or the enemy's stats. Now, I am still not going to say anything unless I 100% know it to be true because it would just throw you off if I guessed. So I'm just gonna let you know that these are the different stats. Now, this sounds more like your stats because it's stealth. So far, the enemies haven't ever had a stealth stat. So um, these are your abilities to attack. These are your health things like that your ability to sneak up on enemies button and there's a button there so Health. 112 range button now if you touch that button it'll bring up your stats menu i'm going to touch it just to be sure more back all button. right more back button so there you go we can go back we've gone to a new screen stats heading and now we're on the stat screen okay so you know that button we need to label that button a little bit closer we need to put a name closer to the button that is an easy fix level heading all right you're going to get your level level nine 988 that's XP. your that's your level so this is your basically your totally cool player statistic like screen it's got how far you need to go to level progress 94% it's got your progress point so the progress is like a bar think of the progress bars for sighted folks these are going to be like little colored in fields long rectangular lines that are going to fill in as you level up for visual people that's going to be what they're looking for for us as people who are visually impaired we are not looking for these kind of things you're going to be needing um numeric information okay states heading okay states that's i think they meant to stay stats health 112 slash 112 that's your health so the first number is what you have the second number is your max progress 100 percent that progress bar tells you if you're maxed out so it's kind of like a redundant way of explaining how much health you have stamina 37 slash 100 that's your stamina now stamina we're going to get into probably uh we talked about that a little bit in yesterday's video you need to have a hundred you need you don't have to have 100 percent stamina but when your stamina drops too low you must go to sleep because sleep is really easy to do. I'll go through that a little bit, but sleep is super easy. You simply keep tapping on sleep. It'll take you to the sleep menu. 
remember when there are other menus up it may be a little hard to activate the sleep menu so close any menus or any tutorial tips that are up that are in your way and then you can easily go to the sleep menu you're going to select how many dreams you want to have i don't know why that that particular aspect exists i don't mind it's not bothering me swipe up with a picker item select the maximum number of dreams and then you'll be able to activate with a button the sleep function it will tell you how much of your stamina you will recover i would just suggest recover all of your stamina however you may not want to do that you may be in a hurry okay so that's what that particular statistic is progress 37 percent hunger 70 slash progress stamina 37 okay, stamina progress. and that's your progress 37%. bar so you're 37 percent so we need to get our we probably need to go ahead and take a little nap hunger 70 slash one all right that's your hunger to get rid of your hunger go to your inventory and eat berries meat or other food items such as sushi which you'll unlock later progress 70 percent so our food our hunger is okay now you may be thinking, whoa, am I really hungry? No, the way this works is the lower the bar, the more hungry you are, not the higher the bar. So a little counterintuitive, but it's not a big deal. Thirst, 100 slash 100. This is our thirst, we have no thirst. I have no idea when thirst will come into the picture. We'll find out later. There may be desert climates or cold environments where water is scarce, where we need to drink more often. Maybe it's really hot and we need to drink more often. So maybe like a lava area, a volcano, something like that. We might have to worry about thirst. For now, I don't think we have to worry about thirst. Progress. 100%. So we're 100% on that. Skills. Heading. Okay, now we're going to the skill headings on your whole statistics screen. Melee. 100. That's our melee ability is at 100. Now, this one's still a little confusing because does this mean this is my maximum melee? Or does this mean that I can change this, upgrade this? I don't know yet. I'll ask questions and get back to you. Progress. 50%. Melee. 100. Progress. 50%. Okay, that's 50%. Melee. Skills. Heading, melee, 100. Melee, 100. Progress, 50%. Okay, so it is my progress bar. My skills, my melee is 100. My progress is 50%. I don't know the correlation of these two items. I'll figure that out of, uh, in the future. Range, 110. Okay, this is my range. I do believe this is feet, but I may be wrong. So it says range, 110. Be great if we could hear if this is feet, meters, inches centimeters whatever progress 55 percent. that's a 55 percent on that one this that 55 percent progress bar could mean that there's a threshold we can reach which is 100 percent. so maybe we can increase our range on this character's level maybe that means that we can improve ourselves 50 percent more and that's the total maximum threshold for this character's levels we'll find that out in time defense 100 that's our defense which is a hundred progress 50 percent 50 percent on our defense stealth 100 our stealth is 100 that's the value progress 50 percent which means we can go up more in our stealth tab bar actions and tab. now we've gone five. down and washed out into the whole tabs to get out of this menu i would strongly suggest that you four tab finger bar. tap the Bottom top screen. more back button and go back more now we are back More. at our hunting Heading. menu now you know what to do when you're on a hunting menu and you hear that un kind of like kind of separated button support us heading game center okay now we have kind of a little error now when you come back out of the stats you're going to drop drop into their settings menu where you can support them you can find information you can get the shop support us heading so you got that support us headings community questions and community feedback. questions and feedbacks are here share with friends. i might as well walk through this menu share with friends this is how you can share this information please do so please support developers who make games for people who are visually impaired and blind it really helps them out and it also helps out that you mentioned that ndg michael gray sent you there new Def gaming invite people to my channel and invite people to developers uh, you can send these links to your social media and it doesn't cost you a dime email queries there's email queries here review app 
You can review the app in the App Store. Please review, give them five stars, drop information in there. There's no reason not to rate a developer at the maximum rating because you're going to help them more if you give a max rating. If there's a little problem, that is no reason to give a developer a low rating, okay? We don't give developers like ones and twos just because there's a couple of elements that are inaccessible or not accessible or not fully accessible. We can fix those, y'all. We can fix those. Give them a high rating and offer some suggestions in a kind way please all right uh, uh let's keep moving general heading okay there's a general heading button settings. here there's settings player journal player journal i haven't i haven't opened up any of these yet credits and release notes okay i haven't i've opened up settings but i haven't looked up journal and credits and all that i haven't done any of those Sword request b4.0 production and that's the production information in the version tab bar actions tab okay let's five. let's go ahead and get out of this tab bar actions tab go back one to of actions all right now that we're out of actions health 87 melee, okay 83 we are defense, now back at, at the hunting menu progress 100 progress health one button health 80 tap button when player icon is inside enemy icon okay to sneak successfully all right now when you are back after you've gone through all those menus and go ahead and jump back and use the action tab to jump back into this we do need to have a back button that goes back to where we came from i think that's an easy fix i would just like when i leave this menu to come back to this menu okay so now that we're on this one uh, menu and that isn't a big deal so but we're, now we're in this menu we need to sneak up on this imp now this is going to be frustrating because right now this isn't accessible you can do it by action Accident, but if you double tap at the wrong point the imp is going to run away if the imp doesn't run away it will fight you if you're not able to kill it after a certain number of attacks the imp will come after you and you'll engage in a combat this is basically the combat portion of the game so um, let's see if we could make that happen I am almost assured to not hit it okay so let's walk through this menu some more tap to sneak button tap to sneak that's sneaking up on the imp imps like a little demonic like creature give up button there's a give up button if you click the give up button it takes you out into the main screen the main sortie quest screen the primary screen i'm calling it all right for lack of a better word inventory button of course if you keep swiping on the bottom you'll go right back to the, your good old tabs so you always have a safe place to hide to come back to all right, for now on this screen is a little icon that's swiping back and forth it feel i can barely notice that I put it under I put it under magnification and there are two little circles chasing each other around those are obviously your cursors and it's your way of hitting the enemy now if you were a sighted person you would simply double tap when the cursors lined up the correct place but we're not sighted so we are completely blind so we are not going to worry about that this is going to be something that the developer is going to fix. Most likely, the developer will make a increasing or decreasing vocalization or sound. Basically, you can make a sound that goes when we get close to what we need to do, or it can be like, and that way, when you hear that you're at the correct spot, you could double tap in time. And with perfect sound and vocalization, we can completely interact with this menu item which is great and innovative and lovely we can interact with this if we can just have sound at it for now you can't really interact with this i'm going to go ahead and touch it and you're going to find out what you're going to hear me not have any success here we go give up button tap to sneak button. here we go tap to sneak tap to sneak here i go tap to sneak Hunting. Heading. Okay, let's find out if I did it. I don't think I did it. Adventure. Progress. 100. Progress. 100. Pr health. 112. Button. Health. 87. Melee. 83. Defense. 87. Stealth. 87. Okay, those are all my stats. You scared the imp away. Okay, I scared the imp away. When you hear that, I scared you scared the imp away, you failed. You might as well just go ahead and give up. You weren't successful. Now, 
that's one of the weakest monsters in the game so don't get discouraged there are stronger ones okay like the orc you can fight the orc the orc will not run away it's the same method you're going to shoot at it with your bow and arrow and that's going to be basically your rogue fifth edition sneak attack you're basically this is your stealth round this is your surprise round i'm going to use as much D, &D terminology as possible because D, D is the mother father of all of this right so um so when you attack a tree you're going to get a tree orc when you attack a bush you're going to get an imp and i do not know what happens when you attack a stone i'll find out for you in the next video because the next videos for this are either going to go up wednesday thursday because i feel like i'm going to probably take a break from the inquisitor in serenia because i am going to finish serenia but i'm going to get as many of these up as possible just to get you all on the ground floor while this game is hot and while we're getting all kinds of new accessibility added so most likely we're going to have uh, of course we're going to have galactic colonies monday we're going to have sonar islands tuesday and we're going to come right back to this on wednesday thursday and friday we're going to do sortie 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 quests so we're going to get sick of sortie quests nah we're not we're gonna have some fun anyway i'm just letting you know um what schedule will kind of be and i'll reiterate it on monday so that's it that's the whole hunting menu play around with it have some fun drop me some feedback in the comments if you like this and i hope you enjoyed this nice juicy super long episode of sortie quest and uh i really like this developers doing a fantastic job of making upgrades really quickly i hope you're liking the music i hope you're enjoying this i hope you're enjoying all these new games we're bringing to the channel i want to thank apple viz for mentioning this on twitter which is where i first found this particular game i want to thank the developer for being so quick to respond to the needs of the visually impaired community and i want to thank all of you for being patient for all of you being kind and thoughtful and loving and being willing to try something out of your comfort zone and just giving it a shot and this game has tons of potential i haven't even gotten to talking to you about the whole clan menu um the hunting the orcs the more crafting items you get from defeating them there's so much to talk about we'll get into it in a future episode so as i always say love yourself each other always be kind and let's hang out again tomorrow with some galactic colonies all right and after that the next day on tuesday some sonar islands where we are attacking one particular kind or type of island three times six times in a row and hoping to beat it all three times triple treasure taken hopefully but thank you all very much have a wonderful rest of your sunday evening and take care